So Microsoft has launched their uh, Microsoft Teams software for Linux as well. So it is basically now available to download for Linux. So uh, in this video, we are going to find out that how you can install MS Teams on your Linux distro or uh, how does it resemble with the um, its Windows counterpart. So before starting the video, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe and leave a like if this video does your help so first of all what you have to do you have to go uh, open up your uh, browser after opening up your browser uh, just write uh, download uh, sorry for that sorry again download teams and here is Microsoft teams download page sorry for my bad internet connection and uh, down here first you are gonna see the options for desktop and uh, mobile but down below you can see that download teams for work on your desktop so you may find there are two types of packages one is linux debian version and the second one is rpm version so currently i'm gonna download debian version so basically they are providing RPM as well as Debian versions that you shouldn't have any problem while uh, running it on different distros of uh, uh, Linux. So let it be downloaded and I'll be right back. Okay, so now our Debian package uh, is about to be downloaded and it's completed. Now we will have to go to that particular directory where it has uh, been downloaded. For example, uh, we have here in the downloads folder, just double click that one and uh, it will open up that uh, Ubuntu software uh, which will install that uh, Debian package. So let's install that one. I will have to insert my password over here and it may take a while to uh, install uh, that software on your computer. Uh, so let it be installed. Okay, so it's now inst installed and we will have to close these folders as well as this browser. Go to applications uh, drawer and you may find that Microsoft Teams software in your app drawer. Uh, you can see that there is a banner of preview. So it's not the final release, which is a stable uh, release of uh, Microsoft Teams on this particular uh, operating system. So uh, just like traditional way, you will have to uh, put in your Microsoft credentials uh, on the first use. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back in a moment. Okay guys, so I'm back. It took a while because I had a very sluggish internet connection and we are back here in uh, on the dashboard over here. So sorry for that uh, because uh, I have installed, uh, I have already joined uh, some teams over here. But uh, let's find out how does this software work. Um, although uh, it is performing quite well as uh, with comparison to the its Windows counterpart, and uh, there is no any performance flaws or hiccups or the bugs to be seen. So the average uh, usage of uh, uh, memory on the Windows platform for this particular uh, software is 2.5 gigabytes. And uh, let's find out how does uh, how much RAM it is consuming on uh, the uh, Linux side. And uh, I'm going to go open the system monitor. And here are the processes. And let's find out Teams. Yep. The Teams here has almost... Uh, some processes running over here but it hardly makes almost about seven to eight hundred megabytes and the resource usage is fairly uh, less than the windows counterpart and uh, the performance is uh, quite better to be honest and it is almost similar to its uh, Windows version, there is nothing special or nothing changed. Uh, kind of, uh, we can see that. Uh, 
Okay, so there is no any performance uh, drawback, although uh, I have fairly old uh, system, which is third generation, uh, third generation uh, i7 uh, processor. So it may not be working quite well on Windows because uh, I'm also recording uh, this session in the 1080p 60 frames per second. So I hope this video would be helpful for you. If you have any queries or questions, please do, le uh, do let me know in the comments down below and I'll be get, uh, getting you. So thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and uh, leave a thumbs up if uh, uh, this video did help.